Hello, Namaste, Salam, Walekum, Sastriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at Vareva.com. Today, we are going to learn how to make Alu Bhaingan Ki Sabji, that is potato and eggplant curry. Dear friends, today we are going to use onion tomato gravy. To make this tomato gravy is very easy. For this onion tomato gravy, you know, I am going to take some oil. In this, I am going to add onion. After sauteing it a little bit, just add some salt. Add ginger garlic paste. If I take 1 kg of onions, we are going to add 1 kg of tomatoes. Add turmeric, add chilli powder, coriander powder. I have taken 1 kg of onion, 1 kg of tomatoes. For that 1 cup of chilli powder, 1 cup of coriander powder. Just 1 tablespoon of cumin powder. Don't need to add any water. Do not worry. The moisture that is coming from these onions and tomatoes will be good enough to create a steam and pressure so that the, all of these ingredients will be nicely cooked. Put the lid on. We are going to cook this for at least 15 to 20 minutes. This may take give around 6 to 7 whistles. Do not worry. You know, put it on a little slow flame then high flame and this will become a fantastic gravy in no time. And now look at this. This is a fantastic method, foolproof method and all the masalas, everything will be cooked nicely. There is no chance of, uh, you know, burning any side and the flavors are fantastic. Now, the onion tomato gravy is all ready and you can keep this gravy in the refrigerator. In fact, I did and I am going to take a small portion of it and make this alu bangan ki sabji. For this, we are going to take some oil in a pan. You know, do not take too much oil because this oil is just for the tempering. Add mustard seeds. When the mustard seeds splatter, add cumin seeds and now to this, I am going to add eggplants because eggplants we cannot boil them as we do for with potatoes. Just add eggplants into this and now reduce the flame. Once you add this uh, eggplants, add pinch of salt that will help these uh, eggplants also cook much faster and just put the lid on and we are going to let this cook on a slow flame just occasionally mixing it once or twice just for 3 minutes and the eggplants will be soft and tender. After you saute this for 2 minutes, just add some water and put the lid on and let it cook for another 1 minute so that the eggplant is nicely cooked from inside out. You know I have a boiled potato here but they are slightly overcooked. But if they are slightly undercooked, you can add the potatoes in this. Or else, if you want to add the potatoes and cook, just when you saute, first add the potatoes, after 3-4 minutes add the eggplant. That way both of them will be cooked at the same time. Another thing is, do not add raw potatoes after you add the gravy or after you add the eggplants. Because the potatoes will remain raw and will not cook and your dish will not be that good. Now look at this, the eggplants are nice and soft. So now I am going to add the gravy which we put in the refrigerator and just mix this. You know if you want to add you can add uh, some more water now. See having these kind of gravies ready you know makes your life so easy. Look at this. Now I think I need to make this little bit thin but whenever you remove the gravies from the refrigerator make sure you bring the gravy to a nice boil. Okay that is when you are going to finish the dish. Now you know look at this the gravy is come to a nice boil. Now I am going to add these potatoes also, you know because the potatoes are nicely cooked and I don't want them to be overcooked that's why I added them now. We have to bring this to a nice boil, you know the potatoes are also nicely cooked in the gravy and the gravy is come to a nice boil again. Now we are going to add some chopped coriander and in this we are also going to add some mint that will give a very nice flavor, wow look at this. Hmm, already I can get this uh, nice fantastic flavor and the beauty is this is cooked in few minutes. You know unlike if I have to cook the gravy, onions, everything together, you know it's going to take a lot of time. But this method of cooking, because I had the gravy ready, the cooking process is so easy. You can make any preparation in 5 or 10 minutes and feed your family fresh tasty food at home. Switch off the flame and you know make sure you check the seasoning 
you know in the end once again ah this is way too hot nice aroma wow Wow, wow, wow. You know, dear friends, when you make an eggplant curry this way, never keep it in the refrigerator. You know, now the eggplant, I just took a bite. You will not believe how nice and juicy it is. Once you put this in the refrigerator and eat, re-eating it, I'm telling you, it's going to kill the taste. Dear friends, very fantastic dish. Once you have the gravy ready, you can make any dish in five minutes. But do not forget, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at whatever.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. Thank you.